Oh my god, dude, we got a rifle. No way, dude. Did we just go back to back rifles? Can I stop finding guns, please? Whoa! I got another one. Why was there so many of these BB guns in here? Dude, is that a big round? That's oh. artillery. Holy cow. Yeah, we got a bomb. The one guy down at the other end of the bridge, he's one of our bomb squad guys, and then they got the other two guys coming. You guys have a curfew for uh, magnet fishing. All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video of the Magnetizer. And today we are heading out to South Bend, Indiana. We have about a two hour drive to meet up with Danny Dip and Jeff from the Outdoor Influencer. And the area that I have picked out has a lot of crime. It's one of the worst neighborhoods in South Bend. So I'm super excited. We may find some guns, we may not. I have not found a gun in a hot minute. Anyways, let's start heading out to South Bend. I'll see you there. All right, guys, so we made it to South Bend, Indiana. I'm actually waiting for someone to meet up with me. But hey, if we find any guns, we got a cop just parked down there for us. Anyways, let's finish up getting the rest of my gear and let's head out to the spot. We got a big old pipe on there. A big old, big old pipe. Uh, there we go. We got ourselves the biggest pipe of them all. Uh, get the magnet off that. Let's bring this to our nice little precarious scrap pile down here. Can't fit any of this in a bucket. All right, what do I got on? Oh my God, dude, we got a rifle. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We got a lever action on there. First gun of the day. There we go. That's an old one. That is an old one for sure. We got a rifle. I haven't even been out here very long. Here we go. Dang, we got a cop parked just down there. We could just probably carry it right over to him. Dude, I've gotten like five throws in and we already got a rifle on that throw. Holy crap. I mean, look at my little pile I started right here. Hey, there we go, baby. You got a rifle. First cool find of this entire trip. That's awesome. It looks like we got like some rebar on there. No way, dude. Did we just go back to back rifles? No, oh, shit, I almost fell. Oh, I got it, I got it. Dude, we just got back to back. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, we just went back to back. Pew pews right there. Look at this, we got two of them. We just went back to back. No way, I've never done that before. Holy crap. I've never in my entire career of magnet fishing ever gotten back to back guns. Look at that, we got a nice lever action. And this one looks like another lever action. This one's even worse condition. It's, you can tell right there, it's definitely a lever to a gun. Dude, do we just go for a third rifle here? Did we just get a third rifle? I think we did. Yeah, dude, we got a third one. Holy crap. <laughs> we got a 22 right there. Holy crap. That's a barrel. Oh, and you got the back right here. It's probably another, that's definitely a 22, 100%. That's three guns in a day. Maybe I should go down here. No, it's my spot, man. Back up. <laughs> that's all, actually, that's a pump action. Look, look at that. Look like you're bending That's a pump a action right there. It's like a pump action 22. It looks like it would be a pump action back and forth. Yeah. The third one. A lot of rifles in this spot. I know. Hey, what do we got here? Oh, dude, we got another one. Dude, holy crap. We got another 22. Am I ever going to get a break here? That's old. That's a black powder. That's an old one. Look at that. That's a super old one right there. Dude, that thing could be from the 1800s. That thing's ridiculously old. Look how nice that is. That's a 22. We got a number four on the day. This is crazy, dude. After three days on the road, we haven't found a single good thing. We come out here. I had this place pinned for a couple of months. I live like two hours from here. Dude, we got four freaking rifles. Are we gonna get a break today? Holy crap. I thought it was gonna be over with just these two. And they're all like, like besides this one, that one was underneath the tree. But all of these, I wonder if these were all from one collection and someone just dumped, stole a bunch of them and dumped them. Dude, I think I just got a revolver. Oh my God, I did. Oh my God, I did. Woo! I got another one. That's number five. Dude, this spy is loaded. Oh my God, I'm another back to back. You just watched me too. That's back to back. It did wow. that twice. Look at Smith and Wesson right there. Holy crap. We're not getting breaks today. I'm at five. Yeah, we're not getting a break today. We just got another back to back because I just got this one 
right here and we just pulled out that one it's a super nice one too it looks like a I don't know. Looks like a 38. That's that's awesome. We got our nice pile starting. Dude, if I was like a first time magnet fisher, I wouldn't believe this right here. I still can't believe it. I've been magnet fishing for like seven years. Oh, dude, I'm shaking right now. Dude, I can't wait to hit the other side. This is the most guns I found at one spot in a day. Oh, what is that? It looks like a frame. It looks like a motorcycle frame. Yeah, dude, that is a that's a motorcycle frame right there. Part of oh, a like motorcycle a dirt, frame. A dirt bike? No, not a dirt bike. That's way too big for a dirt bike. Dude, that's a frame off of, I think that's a motorcycle for sure, based off this. It's definitely a motorcycle frame. It's like somebody like cut it. Yeah, so Maybe. they can dispose of it. Sure it's fraud. Hey, it looks like you just got a cash box right there, or a tackle box. Oh, be careful. That's empty. It's empty. Tackle box, probably. Yep, oh, there's a... Dead crawl dad in it. Is that Dang. dead? Oh, he's, oh he's alive! Barely. Barely. We gotta get him in the water. Oh, he's holding on. He said, no, give me back my home. Yeah. There you go, buddy. We're trying to get you back in the water so you can breathe. We don't live in SpongeBob's world. We can't have that. Hey, it looks like Anthony finally may have gotten a gun. Is it a caught gun? No. He got a BB gun. No, that look how thin the lever action is. That's a real one. No, it's a BB gun. That's another, heavy. Another gun? You sure. It's pretty heavy. Fill it. Yeah. Fill the weight. It's Probably real. It looks really fragile. Like, yeah. That's how we tell. It could be a really old. Maybe is this gun. a... Uh, yeah. it you like... gun back. Hey, you got my yeah, gun back. Gun? No, it might be a different one. That's really muddy. That's Here's a longer. One. That's no. short. No, that's mine. Is it yours? Yeah. Look at All that. Right. I remember that in this big rock. You got it back. I don't yeah. have to feel bad no more. No. Yeah, now you can't crack any more no. jokes. Hey, there we go. It's still inflated too, a little bit. Oh, cruiser. This ship, you can probably sell this for some good bucks. Look how old this seat yeah. is. You can at least sell the frame. <laughs> probably not rideable. Really, I kind of, I, I kind of want to take this to a bike shop see if they'll fix it. It's, it's a cool color. Hey, we're gonna see. Dave's gonna take this thing for a ride. I can do it. No. Oh, chain's gone. Oh, chain's just. I don't think it's, it's tangled chain. up right there. That thing is wicked, bro. All right, All right. So, how old do you think this bike you found is? Probably 60s, 70s. It's pretty common paint with the sparkle back then. Yeah. That's Based off the seat and the shifter, definitely it's old. Dude, is really that a big careful. round? Is that really? let this one bump. No. Here. Uh, Alright. So Here. Yeah, we're gonna need another magnet. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is like 50, 60 miles. Oh, shit. yeah, I'm sliding. That's a big round. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Wow. That's a big round. No that's artillery. Way. That's oh. artillery. Holy cow. Dude, that's the biggest round. <laughs> he got one. Damn. Yeah, and this dude. thing's live, too. Alright, alright. <laughs> Okay, Unload let's clear the trailer. Bridge. Leave it there. Don't go. let anyone go on the bridge. These are not toys. Uh, yeah, just start grabbing shit. Holy crap. Oh, hey, it's drilled. I don't think it's drilled. I yeah, think... right there. That's a drill hole. No, that's, a, that's just a, a hole. That's definitely Might a get drill to keep hole. It then. Well, uh, be careful. Let's just get yeah. all the shit off the bridge. Yeah, get everything off the bridge. All right, I get all the stuff off, and we gotta get your magnets off. That one's a little easier. Now be safe with this one. Yeah. Try to angle it up so it's angled on the bridge. Oh, Pull it this way. Right, have you guys done anything interesting? Yeah, yeah, we got a bomb. And then lift up. Mm -hmm. Do the light lane gently. All right, we got it. Off. We got the magnets off. Right. I'm gonna get this off the rope. I'm gonna move it. I don't want to move it too much. All right, guys. So right now we are getting ready to call bomb squad on this round that we found. Pretty much the tips explosive and the rest. It's basically an anti-material artillery round. From a little bit of research I've done. So it's definitely not something we could keep. It's not hollowed out. I see literally like two holes in it and that's probably to fill it. So we're definitely gonna have to contact Bomb Squad for this. So this right here is the artillery round that Anthony just found. I believe this is a 105 millimeter artillery. Could be explosive, so we do have to call Bomb Squad. But how do you feel about this? Um, it's my, uh, my first artillery ever pulled up. And um, I, honestly, I didn't realize it would be that big. So yeah, it's definitely one of the wildest things I've ever seen pulled out. So we're definitely had to clear this bridge out very quickly and we're gonna have to evacuate the bridge while we wait for bomb squad. So the cops have just arrived to pick that up. So we got bomb squad right there. We got a car right there. We do got that down there. And if it looks way down there, we got a cop car. So we got the police on this side now. I'm gonna see if I can ask a few questions about you know the process and what they do with it sorry about ruining your evening he was the one that pulled it up we're looking at it 
he thinks it's a fire extinguisher looking down because my buddy Danny pulled one up, I think a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I'm looking at it like, that looks like a artillery. Kind of drove past, I agree with you. Yeah. I don't know how old, old that is, any ideas? I, that's beyond me. My, my best guess is uh, World War II. It's a, like, uh, information. He's a, um, just like your driver, like your name and stuff like yep. that. You got, which you said you pulled it he's, out. He's the one that found it. it. Where'd you guys find it? I just went uh, the middle Perfectly the right where that's sitting right now. How long were you guys out here fishing when you found it? So I'd say three hours ago, it was the around the time we got here. And that's like the first like notable thing you guys found? You didn't find anything? Oh, uh, we found like some BB guns. Oh, we found a black powder rifle. There's yeah, no okay. numbers as on that. As far as like guns and stuff go, this wouldn't be like a terrible place yeah. to look, honestly. Everything this we is, found. This is a pretty violent side yeah. of town over here. Oh, right? really? Oh, like we were here the one time it wasn't this bridge but there's another group called like detroit um, oh motor city magnet fishers yeah something like they yep. were here lunch and they, were, they found a couple of guns at one time too. yeah and uh what's your name zan xan your last name and what's your date of birth and a good address for you okay what's your good phone number for you uh, you said all the other stuff you guys found was like bb guns or yeah anything? it was old old okay. stuff like it's falling apart in your hands okay. yeah that, i mean the one guy down at the other end of the bridge he's one of our bomb squad guys and they got the other two guys coming they'll probably bring out their bomb truck and i don't know if they'll put the robot out there or what so right now we got bomb squad it looks like with an x-ray machine and they are going to x-ray the round that anthony just found but it looks like they're getting ready to survey it, x-ray it. So Bomb Squad has measured the round that Anthony found and they said it was about seven inches in diameter by two feet on the dot. So this would make it about 175 millimeter round, but it is a basically a stationary tank artillery is what it would be shooting that. All right, you guys have a curfew from magnet fishing from two feet, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta get the x-ray needed at their bottom. <laughs> Uh, well, it's the di different densities in the metals is what we're trying to get through, oh, so they yeah. a little longer. Yeah. Well, some things are more dense than others. There they are with their x-ray machine. Finally, after five scans. <laughs> He's got fun moving that. I could barely lift it. Yeah, mine's all blurry for some reason. He's curious about that hole. He's taking pictures of So they are loading up right now. They have two of them, and he's like huffing and puffing. <laughs> that thing ain't light, I promise you. They're taking off with it right now. It's inside their eight ball. Hey, Honda generator. <laughs> Be tight. <laughs> All right, so right now, I think Bomb Squad's gonna start wrapping up what they're doing. And Anthony is magnet fishing off this other bridge while we're waiting for them to finish up. But this is definitely pretty crazy. One of the scariest bombs I've ever seen pulled up. Were you guys fishing and found the bomb? Yeah. What was it? Um, I think like a 170, 75. Yeah, the round was most likely live, so they don't want anything. Yeah, they took like five or six x-rays, uh, which makes me think it was live because they didn't say anything. Normally, when the last time we found one, the cops gave me an update. They didn't get any updates. They just hopped in the car and sped off. We are back after Bomb Squad left. This is my first throw. Gotta be a rifle barrel. There's no way this isn't, right? Or did I get spunked by free bar? Three bar, three bar. Ah oh, man, that was just. <laughs> so I chucked it out of anger. It is. Oh, it's a bolt action. Yeah, yeah, it's a bolt. I have the same barrel. Me too. I have the same barrel, but without the actual bolt. Yeah. Clean it rest of the way off here. This thing's pretty solid. Dang. How do we not see that freaking bolt on the side? <laughs> no. If I never threw that, we would have scrapped it. Like it's an uh, upper or something. Oh, yeah. It's probably a barrel. Looks like it's the not a full chamber. gun, but it's the top part of the right gun. There. That's the barrel. The handle would come down right here as a handgun. So yeah. It's not off a of CO2? No, that's. Oh, yeah, it's real. That's kind of fire still. Someone just got out. So I don't know what kind of gun it is. You got to do no. some research. That's, that's a cool yeah, one. Yeah, I like that's a really slide. cool one, though. Yeah, I've never seen a gun that's like nice. that with a slide. Let you me might... know down in the comments you guys know yeah. what kind of gun this might be. I wonder if it says something on the top. Okay, what do we got here? Just a piece of rebar right there. What it looks like to me. Oh no, that's a, oh dude, we got another gun. Holy crap, how many are we gonna find today? Dude, that's like an old revolver right there. I don't wanna break it too much, but yeah, that's definitely a gun. We got another one. Don't even know what that, oh, it's a revolver. I wonder if that's like the ones that, the brake barrel revolvers right there. That's old, that's really old. I'm done magnet fishing if this is a rifle. I am done. I'm pretty sure this is a gun. I'm like 99% certain. Definitely. It's a gun. It's a break. That's the one I lost the very first Are you serious? Day. Oh, dude, that thing's oh. sick. 
That is that the one beautiful. I lost the first day. You, I thought it was the breakdown freaking thing. It looked like it was a shotgun. Yeah, I got it by the stock. How does that work? That's a nice looking I want to say right a 30 out 6. That's the one I lost the very yeah, first day I was here, bro. Wow. Same spot. Dude, number eight. I this thought it was a record. shotgun. I thought that was a shotgun. Yeah, no, it's a lever action. 30 30 actually. Yeah, hold it flat. That's beautiful. That's guys. old. I'd say like 1920s, 1930s. Yeah, Dang. Look what Danny just got. I think they are BB guns. You can see the yeah, spring right there, right but there's two stuck together. I wonder if someone just masked through them in. Like one Dude, person. why was there so many of these BB guns in here? I don't know. Or it could have been a factory around here. But then they'd be all in a pile. Yeah, that's two wild. guns, one throw. I finally did it. That two BB No, that one got to be real. This one got to be real. So this one we think is a BB gun, but this one I think might be real. It's heavy. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, well, that one just fell off. <laughs> we don't care about that one. <laughs> That's insane. Two guns stuck together like that. Lightly. Thank you. Yeah, that's a 22. Yeah, it's like a, is that an octagon? Hexagon. Hexagon barrel, bro. Rifle. Like one, two, yeah, it's hexagon. And there's a little bit of wood still left yeah. on this. Wood broke off, yeah, sadly. Like trigger, that's nice. A little tiny bolt. Is that a little tiny bolt? Yep, I think yeah. so. Old, that's an old muzzle loader. Freaking my second ever freaking hexagon barrel. Dang, look at this. Kinda that's nice. There's three? Yeah. Three and one? So there's these a, had to be there's thrown together. There's a barrel there, and then look, that's a whole nother gun right there. Yeah. There's another freaking. Let me, how heavy is that one? This, I think, might be real. Oh, oh no, that's kind of hard. What yeah, gonna, break this end off. Yeah, that's a BB gun. Look at that. Well, Man. that could just be corroded, corroded. Three guns is three guns in one throw. They don't matter what they are. Yeah. Two BB guns in a reel. One, two, and we run over here real quick. There's the third one. So, Anthony. While he's down there, he got the Extendo. Is that a Glock? Pro Mag, it is a Glock. It is a Pro a Glock, that's what I thought. That thing's been down there. Well, round? it could be a Smith & Wesson too, Pro 33 Mag. 33 round? Yeah, that's 33 round magazine, guys. And he stack. just found, in the water, he's like up yeah. to his nipples and armpits. <laughs> just right dipping his there. magnet. Dude, look at that, there's ammo in it. Yeah, oh, wow. like you can see right there, it's all the way loaded, yeah. probably, it's heavy. What was that, nine? Yeah. Dang, hey, he got something he can keep now. He found dipping down there. Dang, dude. 30 30 round. It's a Glock mag. Glock 19. Hey, horseshoe on there. First one of the entire trip. Actually, no, it's my second one of this trip. Ugh. That's like really nice, too. Look at the condition of that one. Here, you need my luck. So, Anthony is walking the river down there. He gave me a gun to stick on there. It's a yes. BB. BB? BB gun. Heavy BB gun. Focus on Probably wood. all the corrosion and shit. Yeah, yeah don't beat on it. <laughs> hey, it's first gun. Yeah, actually it's the second. The first one yeah, you broke. Look at that. Sawed off BB gun. Bang, BB gun? bang. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a Terminator cool. pistol. That's so Let's weird. Go. So how many guns have been found at this bridge already? 13. 13, 13 or 14. Dang. Is what did you get? Yeah, you got a gun. I got another gun. Maybe. That is a gun. Yeah. Oh, is it a 22? Is it? Yeah. That's yeah, solid. That's, solid. That's, that's an actual gun. Yeah, it's a real gun. So let me just lightly. Yeah. This thing is old. It's I don't want to break it. But it's a gun. Yeah, yeah it's just... definitely a gun. This is what here. number 15 today? Crazy. Oh my god! Oh, it's the same one I got. Oh, oh wow! He, Danny just got his uh, second real gun of the day so far. Is that a bolt in there? Dude, yeah, it is. There's it's a, loaded. There's 22 I round in there. Just yeah. Loaded gun. Old like rifle and it has a 22 right there still in the barrel. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Another gun to that. I think mine was loaded too. What's up? I don't give a fuck. There's a serial number. Yeah, it's Smith and Supreme. 40. I say call us in. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna call it in. Nice one, Jeff. I know, dude. That was like two feet off the edge. Stop. There we go. No, I can't shoot. Okay. No, I ain't gonna shoot. There's oh, no barrel. There's no barrel. No. Out. I'm gonna yank it. Oh yeah. So we at least have it cleared for him. What is yeah. this? A 40? Um, I, at no, 40? that's not. Or yeah, 40. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a 40. It's a 2.0 frame, probably. There's got to be like two missing. It feels like it's not yeah. full. Yeah, dude, some there's more. some there's some rounds missing in there. Feel the weight. Hey, yeah. you know what's funny? Zan just said we haven't found a handgun here. Yeah, I found a revolver. That's about it. Nice. About 40 version. I have a nine. Wait, where's your barrel? Yeah. It's not the right size. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, well, where's that not. barrel at? Just yeah. in case. No, it definitely doesn't fit that. Well, make a Frankenstein a gun, bro. <laughs> Frankenstein. Yeah, baby. No. Boom. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> We're so goofy. Hey, let's take a picture of like, what kind of gun is that? Dude, that's a that's a that? The QR code on it. Yep, that's uh, SDB now. Yep, SDB 40. Yep, they put the QR codes on yep. it. 
based off the fact that it's taken apart, could be using a homicide. Yeah. Because I mean, there's definitely ammo missing. You can yeah. feel it. Yeah, no, it's definitely like it's definitely a murder weapon. The police have arrived. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you guys find another spot to magnet fish? <laughs> We're gonna call it in, but it has zero numbers. It's just the bottom half of the weapon. Okay. I had a magazine in it. The numbers are clearly there on it. I got you. If you guys just want to run it and then. You guys have a good Yeah. Outdoor influencer, Danny Dip, and the magnetizer. Yep. What did you guys find out here earlier? Uh, it's on the arcade ground. Like yeah, yeah, it was some shell or something? Yeah, it was about this big. Really? Yeah, my buddy found it. Or which one of you guys are like the complainant? Whoever finds it. Okay. That's how we do it. I got you. It's right there. All right, I think that's all I need from you guys. Right, so. Perfect. Yeah, like yeah. I said, we just went there just in case, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say like this gun, like it's not stolen, so I'm guessing that oh, someone stolen. probably chased them and mm -hmm. took it apart. Took it, yeah. They do that and then toss it in the river. Yeah, if they would yeah. took that magazine out. They would, it would never been found. Yeah, they would. There's one one wrong move and you could have never had that gun found. You know? Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to comment hashtag bomb down in the comments below. Alright guys, let's go wrap it up for another video with the magnetizer. I had a blast with Danny and Jeff in Indiana. If you guys have not yet, make sure to check their channels out. It'll be Outdoor Influencer and Danny Dip down in the description below. But anyways, we had probably one of the craziest magnet fishing trips in the history of magnet fishing as we pulled up 18 guns along with numerous BB guns and that giant piece of artillery, which I believe is an MK35 Mod 1, which is a 175 millimeter navel round shot out of a seven inch cannon. And so this thing was huge. It weighed actually about 130 pounds. And then Bomb Squad came by and they believe it was still a live round. So they had to take all kinds of precautions, shut the bridge down, and it actually made the news, which will also be linked down in the description below. And not only do we find that giant round, but we found this old revolver, which this is the only one I've been able to recover any sort of serial number off of. And I actually went on the Smith & Wesson website, just to take a wild guess and looked up the serial number. And we did find a match to this. It is a 357 Magnum police revolver from the 1930s. So this is pretty cool, but it is too old to turn in. So I'm able to keep that along with the other 10 guns I found that day. We did have an officer come by and he only collected one of the guns out of the 18 that we found. We showed him all the guns and they only wanted the fresh frame that Jeff found. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below if I should do more magnet fishing in Indiana. Maybe we can meet up with Danny some more since he is from Indiana. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next video.